Now here's something that's way ahead of its time. Uh, these were uh, manufactured in the late 1950s by a uh, Christian missionary uh, outfit in Australia to spread the word of uh, Jesus around the world. And uh, it's an all plastic gramophone. It's got this little lid that basically clips onto those little lugs. There's one either side. That's the sound box. It takes, uh, it takes standard uh, gramophone needles. You can see it's all plastic. And, uh, and a plastic uh, platter to play the records on. But there's no mechanics in this other than uh, uh, Shanks' pony. Uh, you have to actually uh, turn the handle yourself to keep it going. So uh, let's see if I can just get this uh, to divert the camera for a second. There we go. You see that? It comes out. There we go. What to do while you've only got one hand. There we go. That's it. See, there's the uh, little turning handle. And uh, they, they uh, designed their own records, which I think actually were with vinyl 78 records to play on it, because they were unbreakable. And uh, it was described as uh, being designed for the primitive tribes of the world, so they could send it. There's no mechanical parts to repair, it's just simply a you know, hand crank uh, to, uh, to turn the, uh, the platter around, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, that, that lid can go underneath, I'll just show you. on top. Described as uh, the size of a cake box for posting so it was quite cheap to post around the world. And I'm going to play a uh, one of these little, uh, this little Columbia, Harper uh, Columbia, the book that sings records, three little kittens. Okay, let's have a go and we can get it to play at the right speed. There we are, that animal bubble book. Now, let's get this on here. Could be a job to, uh, I've got to turn the uh, sound box around as well so it's at the right angle. There we go. Put this on the record. Right, I'm going to play you this, uh, if I can get it to play all the way through, this uh, this other uh, second of the record. Uh, I've just quickly got out of this sleeve of this bubble book. The little tiny child's rhyme records. It's the three little pigs. Let's see how we get on with this one. I've got it on the right angle there. I think I have. I got most of that to play uh, all the way through. It slipped a little tiny bit on the way, and I lost my way. But the uh, you know that thing slips in and it, it jams. 
but managed to get it to play. I was quite pleased with that. I'll try another one now. Let's uh, get the next one out. There's one more record in this uh, set, so let's see if we can get these three to sort of play on this. Right, the third of the uh, records in this uh, Animal Bubble book. That's the Animal Bubble book. There we are. Very early uh, children's records, little tiny records. I think they were five inch. Could be four inch. 78 RPM shellac records. And uh, the great thing about this little gadget is you can't do anything much harm really because it's, such, it's so light, it's just very light flat plastic so you're really not putting much weight. It's barely got enough weight really to play uh, proper 78s. I don't know you get a 12 inch to play on it probably but uh, it wouldn't it'd slip and it might be too heavy and, and you'd die trying to turn this handle. So anyway, let's have a go. This is uh, free blind mice, see if we can get it to play through or not. Slipping a bit, I'll move it in a bit. I need to get out. So you can uh, just about get it to play at the right speed with a little bit of effort. You grow muscles in the process, but uh, yeah, what a fascinating little device. Uh, 